Hello, this is Ida, your PTCB tutor. Today we will go over ratio concentrations and ratio proportions. So are you ready? Okay, let's get started then. Ratio concentrations and proportions are used on a daily basis in pharmacies. Many technicians and pharmacists do these calculations in their head automatically. I bet you have been solving these types of problems yourself using algebra without you even knowing it. There are some ratios that are not very intuitive to solve and will require using this technique. The good news is this is the most algebra you will need for your PTCB exam. Use ratio proportion when you need to find a fourth value. You will recognize that it is a ratio proportion problem when they give you a ratio in the problem. For example, the prescription calls for amoxicillin 350 mg POTID, and you only have in stock amoxicillin 250 mg for 5. In order to type the prescription correctly, you will have to calculate how many milliliters the child will take per dose that will equal 350 milligrams. So in this case, you are looking for the X in milliliters or the milliliters in 350 milligrams per X mLs. How do you know this? Well, because 250 milligrams per five means that for every five mL dose, the patient is taking 250 milligrams of amoxicillin. So you are looking for the equivalent in milliliters of 350 milligrams. In other words, you want to know how many mLs the patient has to take per dose to equal 350 milligrams per dose. In this problem, you were given two ratios, three known quantities and one unknown. The two ratios are 250 mg per 5, which is what you have in stock, and 350 mg per XML, which is what the doctor wrote as 350 mg POTID. The XML represents the MLs that you want to find out would equal 350 mg. The three known quantities are 250 mg 5 ml and 350 milligrams. The one unknown quantity is the XMLs. To solve ratios, you follow the simple steps. Step one, rewrite 250 milligram per five ml as 250 milligram over five ml. Step two, rewrite 350 milligrams as a ratio and it's unknown. So you would write 350 milligrams over X ml. Step three, set the two equal to each other as a ratio proportion problem. So on one side of the equation, you're gonna write 250 milligram over five ml, equal sign. On the other side, you're gonna write 350 milligram over X ml. You will notice, and this is important, that the milligrams are on top on both sides of the equation and the mLs are on the bottom on both sides of the equation. If you were to do 5 mLs on top and milligrams on the bottom, you would have to do the same thing on both sides of the equation. But for clarity, for our purposes, we are going to follow milligrams on top and mLs on bottom. Step four, ratio proportion problems are solved by cross multiplying. So in this case, you're going to multiply 250 milligrams times X ml and five ml times 350 milligrams. Step five, solve algebraically. So on one side you have the 250 milligrams times X ml is equal to 350 milligrams times 5 ml. 
you're going to rewrite it and you will do on one side 250 milligram times XML is equal to 1750 which is the result of the multiplication of 350 times 5. Then you will divide both sides by 250 so that you can cancel out 250 from one side and you will isolate the X. So you're writing 250 milligram times XML divided by 250 is equal to 1750 divided by 250. Step 5 continued. So after you divide it 250 by 250 you, that equals 1. 1 times XML just is XML. On the other side you divided that quantity by 250 and you got 7 ml. So your answer is that X ml equals 7 ml. You're done. What does the answer mean? It means that for every 7 ml a patient takes, the patient is actually taking 350 milligrams of amoxicillin. Now you can type the prescription like this. Give 7 mls and in parentheses 350 milligrams PO TID. So there you have it. I hope that this has been helpful and I would really like to hear from you any comments or any way that this could be improved, anything that you would like to know more of. Um, you could either leave me a comment below, rate my video of course, and also you could contact me via YouTube messaging and if you like you could also send me an email you can reach me at ptcb underscore tutor at yahoo.com. Happy studying!